The night was dark, and the road seemed to stretch on forever. John, a weary traveler, had been driving for hours. His fuel gauge blinked urgently, begging for attention. Suddenly, in the distance, a small gas station emerged, its neon sign flickering like a lighthouse in the gloom. As John pulled up, an eerie silence enveloped the station. There was an air of abandonment, a feeling that time had forgotten this place. The wind whispered through the empty pumps, carrying with it a sense of foreboding. Inside, a figure stood behind the counter, their eyes shadowed and demeanor distant. The attendant's voice was barely a whisper, sending shivers down John's spine. Their words were cryptic, as though they held secrets that the night refused to reveal. The lights overhead flickered intermittently, casting long, stretching shadows. John's breath formed misty clouds in the cold air. A sense of unease settled in as he noticed objects shifting on their own, defying the laws of logic. In the dim glow of a flickering bulb, John saw it, a figure, pale and translucent, drifting near the pumps. The ghostly form seemed lost, its eyes searching, pleading. Fear and pity stirred within John as he witnessed this spectral wanderer. Through whispers and faded photographs, the locals painted a grim picture. The gas station was cursed, they said, haunted by a tragedy long past. A former employee, they claimed, met an untimely end, forever tethered to this forsaken place. The ghost's presence held a purpose, a yearning for resolution. It sought justice, revenge for a life cut short. The specter's anguished moans echoed through the night, a desperate plea for acknowledgement. Summoning courage, John approached the ghost. Words hung heavy in the air, bridging the divide between the living and the departed. The encounter was fraught with tension, the outcome uncertain. With each passing moment, the urgency grew. The ghost's tormented wails seemed to grow louder, the gas station quivering under the weight of its history. John knew he was running out of time to help this lost soul. Every step forward was met with resistance. The ghost's demands were not easily met, and John found himself entangled in a web of unresolved grievances. Fear gnawed at him, but resolve burned brighter. In the heart of the gas station, the final battle of wills unfolded. Shadows danced and lights flared as the living and the dead clashed. The air hummed with energy, the outcome hanging in the balance. In a moment of clarity, John realized the key to setting the spirit free. With a final, desperate plea, he offered the ghost the closure it sought. The station trembled. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. A calm settled over the gas station. The air was still, and the shadows seemed to retreat. John felt a profound sense of peace wash over him, as if the very essence of the place had been transformed. As he left the gas station, John couldn't shake the feeling of the supernatural. He knew he would carry this experience with him forever, a reminder that sometimes the boundary between the living and the dead is not as rigid as it seems. The road stretched out before him, but John was no longer the same man who had arrived at the haunted gas station. He carried with him a story, a testament to the power of the unknown, and a newfound respect for the mysteries that lie hidden in the night. The gas station stood alone on the edge of a dark and quiet highway. It seemed like any other, with its flickering neon sign and worn-out pumps. The night air was heavy with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional rustling of leaves. No other soul in sight, just the desolation stretching endlessly. Mr. Anderson, the gas station attendant, was a man of shadows. His eyes held secrets, and his face wore lines of worry. He moved with an air of caution, as if he knew something the world did not. His attire, a faded uniform, seemed out of place in this remote outpost. As the night deepened, peculiar things began to unfold. Lights flickered in strange rhythms, casting long, dancing shadows on the ground. Unsettling echoes reverberated from unseen corners. It was as if the very air held its breath waiting for something unknown. A weary traveler, burdened by the journey, pulled into the station. The protagonist's eyes were sharp, missing nothing. 
They took in the peculiarities, the oddities that clung to this place like a shroud. The traveler's curiosity grew with every passing moment. As the nozzle filled the tank, Mr. Anderson approached, eyes filled with urgency. His voice was low and trembling, a warning wrapped in mystery. Leave now, he urged, before it's too late. But when pressed for an explanation, he remained silent, his gaze fixed on the horizon. With a mixture of trepidation and determination, the protagonist explored the gas station. Behind a creaking door lay a narrow stairwell, leading down into darkness. The scent of damp earth mingled with a metallic tang, hinting at secrets buried below. The basement revealed a world the traveler could not have imagined. Walls lined with maps, charts, and enigmatic diagrams. Advanced machinery hummed softly, their purpose unclear. Documents spoke of global plots, dark alliances, and a world teetering on the edge of chaos. Time was no longer a luxury. The weight of responsibility settled heavy on the protagonist's shoulders. With every passing moment, the threads of the conspiracy tightened, threatening to unravel a world already on the brink. In a dimly lit corner, the protagonist confronted Mr. Anderson. Eyes locked, questions poured forth. The attendant hesitated, then sighed, relenting to the truth. It's bigger than you can fathom, he murmured, revealing the web of deception that ensnared them all. As midnight approached, the gas station's silence shattered. Car headlights sliced through the darkness, revealing stern-faced agents and shadowy figures. Tension crackled in the air, a storm on the verge of breaking. The gas station had become the epicenter of a battle, its fate entwined with the world's. In the chaos, a figure emerged from the shadows, their face a mask of duplicity. The revelation of a double agent cut through the turmoil like a blade. The true puppeteer, the mastermind behind the conspiracy, stepped forth, shrouded in malevolence. With newfound allies, the protagonist forged a plan to dismantle the conspiracy. Each moment was precious, each decision weighed with consequence. The hands of the clock seemed to quicken their march, echoing the urgency of their mission. The gas station's forecourt became a battleground. Shouts echoed, punctuated by bursts of gunfire and flashes of light. Shadows danced in the fierce struggle between darkness and light. The outcome hung in the balance, a fate uncertain. The battle ebbed, leaving behind a gas station in ruins. The conspiracy lay shattered, its remnants scattered to the winds. The protagonist and their allies, weary but resolute, parted ways, each carrying the weight of what they had witnessed. In the quiet aftermath, questions lingered. What was the true nature of this gas station? What other secrets lay hidden in plain sight? As dawn broke, painting the horizon with tentative light, the gas station stood in silence once more, its mysteries still intact. At the edge of a quiet town, there stood a gas station, its neon sign flickering in the night. The air was still, and the only sound was the distant hum of crickets. A weary traveler, his car running on fumes, pulled in. He glanced around, feeling a strange unease settle over him. Behind the counter stood an attendant, his eyes shadowed by the brim of a cap pulled low. His face was etched with lines of age, but his gaze was sharp, almost predatory. He spoke in a low, raspy voice that sent shivers down the traveler's spine. As the traveler handed over his money, the attendant's eyes bore into his soul. Night's dangerous round these parts, he croaked, a strange glint in his eye. Stay close, or you might not make it through. The traveler looked around, realizing he was alone. No other cars, no distant headlights. Just him and the gas station, swallowed by the ink-black night. He felt a knot of unease tighten in his chest. Beyond the station, the woods loomed, their trees like silent sentinels. Shadows danced in the underbrush, and a gust of wind whispered through the leaves, carrying with it a sense of foreboding. Panic gripped the traveler as he saw the empty spaces where cars had been parked earlier. Had they vanished into thin air, he could feel the isolation closing in, suffocating him. 
Minutes felt like hours as the pump slowly filled his tank. The traveler's eyes darted, searching for any sign of life. The night seemed to stretch on endlessly, a suffocating cloak of darkness. It hit him like a bolt of lightning. There was no one else. Just him, the traveler, and the unnerving attendant. The warnings, the isolation, it all became painfully clear. He was trapped in a twisted game. Heart pounding, the traveler sprinted towards his car, but obstacles blocked his way. The air grew thick with tension as he fumbled to find a means of escape. Through the dimly lit station, the traveler and the attendant danced a macabre waltz. Each step was a heartbeat, each turn a gamble. The air buzzed with the electric charge of fear. In a hidden chamber, the traveler stumbled upon a nightmarish display. Trophies of past victims, their faces frozen in eternal terror, stared back, a gruesome testament to the killer's malevolence. Adrenaline coursing through his veins, the traveler faced the killer. Eyes locked, breathless silence hung in the air. It was a battle of wills, a fight for survival. In a burst of frantic determination, the traveler outsmarted the killer, turning the tide. With a surge of hope, he made his break for freedom. As the first light of dawn painted the horizon, the traveler emerged from the gas station, battered but alive. The world seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, and the silence lifted. Yet, even in the safety of daylight, a chill clung to the traveler's bones. He knew that evil could lurk in the most unsuspecting places, a truth that would haunt him forever. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the Whispering Tales begin.